Hey guys, check it out. I got my hands the Figma Lady Maria DX version. As you can see here, she looks awesome. Honestly, the weathering that they did on her, the painting, the details on her, man, even the cape looks like leather, but it's not leather and it's not fabric. But still, she looks great. Darn, check out that face scope looking nice. The hat, the hair. Ooh, and she's pretty tall also. So that's a plus. So the hunter's gonna be in scale with her, which is pretty awesome, you know. But man, she looks amazing. What a looker. So let's go and check out her articulation. Okay, guys, so let's check out her articulation. The head can go left that much, which is not a lot, but remember the color here is hindering it right that much again the color down this much which is actually a lot and up not really that much as you can see her up movement is pretty much non-existent there she does have articulation here on the hair which it can swivel just nice now the arm this one can go up this much and this one can go up that much so no hindrance there obviously this is gonna hinder a little bit so she's not gonna be able to raise her arm up that much here but there's still some give you can see the elbow articulation which is good i wish it was a little bit more but you have to remember that this part of the glove is gonna get in the way And she does have bow jointed wrist. Now the back of the cape are bow joints. So the cape here is split in two. You can move around. And by the way, it has a leathery feel to it actually, which is very interesting. So you can move them around. You're still gonna be hindered by this part here on the back, but still really nice. App articulation not a lot sadly there's no articulation here whatsoever it's only this part here as you can see left and the right there now the leg can go up this much and the knee really nice knee cut there that they did as you can see there toe articulation which is only gonna go up but yeah there we go and her ankles on a bow joint if you're thinking about doing the splits well you're in luck because she can she can do the splits which are here and this part also is on bow joints so you got that but yeah, overall solid articulation, solid, could use more articulation obviously, especially in the mid section, but other than that, and the collar here being a little bit too tough for her to move her head around, it's pretty good. Here you can see her face scope, and it's looking pretty darn good, this looks better than the promo images did, which is great, and it should always be like that, so... She only comes with one face, but it's worth it. Okay, guys, here you can see the size difference. And if we measure them up, she's closer to 7 inches tall compared to the normal hunter. So that's a good amount of difference. And that's pretty much how it's supposed to be in the game. Yeah, I, I, I think it is. I think Lady Maria is... Um, way taller than the normal hunter of course you can see that she is even wider than the hunter so she has a bigger build but that is normal for these type of games normally the bosses are way taller way bulkier and she does not disappoint in that front
okay so here are all the accessories that she comes with except for the hands obviously you can see that she comes with the chair she comes with the lower half of the body which you can use to display her sitting down she has her swords of course the name of the sword by the way yes I did remember uh, the name of the sword here is the Rakuyo of course which can be combined with the blade and she also has the blood blades as you can see there they're pretty big she also has a chief version and she has the pistol there which looks pretty darn cool so don't worry let's go over these weapons in detail and the accessories all of them so let's go right in okay guys so here's the Rakuyo looking nice right does look sharp it's actually not, not that pointy honestly looks great now how do you transform it there you go just pop it in there and that's it that is the whole transformation for this thing right but you guys were expecting more but no that's pretty much all you do and to throw the transformation you just pull it out there you go. Okay, so I know what you're thinking, huh? The blood blade, you just slide it in. Actually, no. There's not enough space. What you're supposed to do is take this handle, which is for the chief version, and you're just gonna plug it in, and that's it. There you go, the blood blade. Pretty cool. And then, the other one is already transformed, and you just... Pop it in, and there you go. Here's the full transformation of the blade. This thing is so freaking long, ain't it? It looks awesome. The blood effect that it has to it looks good. Doesn't look like it's dripping, but it looks sharp. It looks painful. Well, actually, it does look like it's dripping a couple areas. It, it just looks great, man. This is just so darn awesome. Ooh, I bet you guys can't wait to see it display with the figure. So here's the Rakujo by itself. Looking great. Man, that handle looks beautiful. The plate looks great. With all the detailing on it. And this is one hell of a sword. Sadly, it's just like all the other swords and accessories that the normal hunter came with. Which is, well, you need the proper hand to be able to use it and all your other figmas cannot use it sadly which is a really big letdown honestly here is the transformation and pretty simple transformation but gets the job done i mean this thing looks the way it should look like it makes it longer it gives it this more aggressive look to it it's pretty awesome so this is the sheath version as you can see it looks beautiful all the detailing that this thing has the color the finish to it looks so darn good because you can see that it's silver but it has that bloodborne style to it that is like hey it looks new it looks kind of new but it's used it's worn it's torn it, it looks so darn awesome that alone is just amazing that they did that the Evelyn here looking great I was gonna show you guys it spinning but I wasn't able to get it you know if properly it would just fall but the detailing on it man you can see the little hammer here too bad it doesn't move I wish it did but man check out that detailing that it has all over it did this detailing is so darn awesome. I'm pretty sure the normal hunter can use it as well, which is good. But check that out. Like, this looks so darn good. This is crazy good what they did here. What an amazing job they did with this weapon. Okay, guys, ladies, Marias. <clears throat> let's do it again. One, two, three. Let's go. Okay, guys, Lady Maria's chair. As you can see here, it looks awesome. It does look like wood and it looks old, it looks dusty, it looks used. Um, the leather parts actually look like leather and you can see that it has all these little designs all around it, even on the legs. 
you can see the back there which looks amazing man they really went all out for just a chair that in the game you just see it and you know it doesn't add anything to it but that's her chair and it looks great and I love that they went to such lengths to actually add the detailing so that's pretty awesome darn what a it's my crazy sometimes so yeah I can see how much work they put into this chair that's just awesome Okay guys, the time has come. Let's get Lady Maria on her chair. First off, according to the instructions, first thing we have to do is remove this part of the body. So, that was pretty easy. Now we have half a Maria. Now, we just need to move the boots. There we go. Oh, that was easy. Oh, and there we go. So, that's her lower half. What we have to do is take this, we're gonna remove this plug, point to the instructions, but we can put the boots here first. Remember, they're inverted, so the right goes on the left and the left goes this one. And now we just have to remove this whole thing. Now it's done. Put that aside. And oh, come on, there we go. We've got Lady Maria in her sitting pose. So let's put her down the chair. I gotta admit, this thing works perfectly. Just look how perfect she looks there. This is just great. Remember, she's supposed to be dead. She's to be supposed to be hunched over. Um, basically, a lifeless body there. But this looks great and it works great by the way uh, I didn't show earlier that but you have to remove the cape but other than that man she looks beautiful there honestly I'm definitely gonna display her like this from time to time it's worth it and that does it guys I gotta say this figure is just awesome just the scale difference between her and the hunter the chair looks amazing I love how much detail they put into her body even the little bit of blood there on the freaking ruffles the right pugo looks great let's do this again one two three let's go so yeah guys final thoughts here the figure itself looks awesome i love all the detailing that they did all those little details the crescent the folds man just the detailing around the collar the detailing of the cape, the detailing of the boots, the articulation is pretty darn solid as well. I have had no problems with it falling off or anything like that, anything falling off. Being able to sit her down the chair is just amazing. I love that. Man, this is probably going to be one of my favorite poses right here. Um, I wish she did have more articulation to make her head go up a little bit more. But other than that, she's amazing. And, and of course, being able to, you know, slide the weapons into the hands is a pain, just like the hunter. So that is pretty much the same way I feel about that. But man, the weapons are beautiful. 
just her hair separation, the detailing on the chair. She is one hell of a buy, honestly. If you're on the fence, definitely get her and get the DX version. Don't get the normal version because you're just going to get hair in her right Cuyo and that's pretty much it. Um, man, just looks awesome. So yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time.